Welcome back student. In this video, we are going to show you step by step how to balance this equation. And we are going to cover question one all the way to three. So first try to do the balancing equation first by yourself first. And if you struggle, watch the video and see if you can figure it out. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to assume all the coefficient is going to be one. Okay. Then we are going to count them. Notice how we have the arrow that divides the reactant from the product. So in this case, we have carbon, which is one, because there's nothing here. We have hydrogen, four times one is four, and we have oxygen, two times one is two. So this is just a list for us to keep track, okay? On the product side, we have carbon. Here we have carbon, one times one is one. Then we have hydrogen, which is right here, two times one is two. For oxygen, we have oxygen here and oxygen there. Here we have two times one is two, and over here one times one is one. So two plus one gave you three. And here if we look at this list, notice how carbon is balanced. Hydrogen is not, oxygen is not. And what we do is we save the elemental molecule last, in this case is oxygen. So let's go tackle our hydrogen. Over here we have four, right? So Go back up here. Where do we have hydrogen? We don't have hydrogen here, but we have it here. So in this case, we have the subscript here. We are going to remove that, okay? Now we are going to ask ourselves, two times what will give me four? Again, we don't have hydrogen here. And two times two give me four. So I had to recount the hydrogen in here and the oxygen as well. So two times two is four. For oxygen, two times one, or one times two is two, plus, 2 times 1, well, what's 2 plus 2? That turned out to be 4, okay? Now, everything else is balanced except for the oxygen, but we don't really care because this is by itself, so we can easily change the coefficient. So again, we're going to remove that. 2 times what will give me 4 oxygen? Well, that's easy, 2 times 2. Do we care about this at all? No, it doesn't have any oxygen. So we recount the oxygen, and that's all we have to do. Now check. That's question number one. Now let's go to question number two. Again, we are going to assume everything is one, okay? And then we are going to count them. Lithium, just one. Hydrogen, two times one is two. Oxygen, well, one times one is one. Okay, that's easy. Lithium, one times one is one. Hydrogen, one times one. We also have, oh, I forgot to put a one here. We have one times one is one, and two times one is what? Two. What's one plus two? Three. And right here, we have oxygen. Well, one times one is one. There you go. Notice how lithium is balanced. Now we have hydrogen and oxygen. But look at this. Hydrogen is by itself, right? No, 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 no. Be careful. We also have hydrogen here, so it's very tricky, okay? So keep that in mind. So over here, what do we have? We have hydrogen here. But look at this. See how this is 2 right there? So if I change this, this becomes 4. So this is where it gets really tricky. If you notice how this right here is an odd number, and this right here is an even number. So no matter what you do, especially in this case, we have hydrogen in two different places. We cannot change this side. Because if you change this side, it will always be an even number, right? So Look at this mathematic very carefully. What's the next even number after 3? Which is 4, right? We cannot really change here because if we change here, two. if I make this into a 2, 2 times 2 is 4. What about the 1 here? So it's 5. So we cannot really do anything. And look at this. This is where the key part is. We see where it's hydrogen. There's a 1 here, right? Which means we can increase 1 by 1 by 1. So what's the number after one. Well, one times one is one. One times two give you two. Look at that. Because two over here plus another two over here give you four. Okay? Look like we mess up the whole entire problem. That's okay. Look at this. The key is that you want both sides even number. So now, look what happened to our lithium. Our lithium is right here. So now, one times two give us two. And for hydrogen, we did already. But for oxygen, 2 times 1, or 1 times 2, give us 2, okay?
look at that, we messed up the whole entire problem, but that's okay. Because if you look on this side, it's pretty easy. Lithium is by itself. Well, to make lithium has two, we just replace that by two, right? Because one times two gave us two. And then for hydrogen, look at this. What do we have here? We need four right there, right? So two times what will give me four? Again, remove this and ask ourselves the same question. Two times what will give you four? So the answer is two. There you go. Two times two gives you four. And then for oxygen, it's magically balance itself. One times two gives you two. So this is probably one of the most challenging questions that I had to work with, okay? That's because we have an odd number here and an even number. So again, the strategy is to make that odd number become an even number. So both sides even. Then check your answer. Now let's go to number three, okay? Number three, again, we are going to make everything one, one, one. There you go. Barium, we have one. Hydrogen, two times one is two. Again, this is just a list for us to keep track. And oxygen, one times one is one. Now for over here, barium, one times one is one. For hydrogen, see right there? That two outside the parentheses indicate that there are two of whatever inside. So therefore, two of hydrogen. But we also have two times one, so that's the total of four right there. Okay, so be careful with that one. See that two right there? Indicate how many are inside the parentheses. So we have two hydrogen here and two hydrogen there give us four. Now for oxygen, we have two times one give us what? Well, two times one give us two. That's pretty easy. And here we have a very different situation, but it's not as difficult as the other one because this one right here is even number. And this one and this one is not really um, difficult because if you look at oxygen here. Look what happened, okay? You have two options. You want to balance the hydrogen first or the oxygen first. And if you look over here, see how you have the hydrogen by itself? So you probably want to save that last. So let's go to the oxygen. So in this case, we remove that because this is the only place on oxygen. So we ask ourselves, one time what will give me two oxygen? And the answer is two. So in this case, we put two there and we have to recount everything. So two, one time two is two, good. Two times two give us four. And look at that, we are done. You see that? And that is how you balance chemical equation. And hopefully this will get you start on balancing chemical equation very easily. And as always, if you have any question, definitely put a question in the form and we will do our best to support you.